When you tell someone that you're into cars, or that you watch racing, they'll often think that you're talking about NASCAR. And for good reason. NASCAR is the top spectator sport in the US, with 75 million fans. But there's a ton of other automotive racing. There's Formula One, karting, autocross, road racing, rally, time attack, and most recently, Formula Drift. To traditional racing fans, drifting makes no sense. Cars weren't originally made to drive sideways. Drifting may look like a bunch of people just hooting around, but when you really look at the sport, you'll see that it takes a lot more skill than it appears. And thankfully, we have Formula Drift, which has brought together some of the best drivers in the world to compete against each other. 2017 marks 14 years of competition, and this year there's even more drivers than ever to see who's the best at controlling their cars when their cars are sliding out of control. Today, we're going to be looking at round one, which starts in Long Beach, California. They've blocked off the everyday city roads in order to have this event, using turns 9, 10, and 11 of the Grand Prix racetrack, giving no grace to the drifters with the tight corners and close barriers. Formula Drift is an eight-round championship series, which has been running since 2004. It's typically a two-day event. The first day is practice and qualifying. Qualifying is done on a scoring system. There are three judges that score three different criteria. The first is line. Each course has an acceleration and deceleration map where the driver should follow, hitting the dedicated clipping zones. Proximity to the walls is a key factor here as well, as that shows how much control of the car they have. They may even potentially be scraping their bumpers against the wall. The second factor is angle. Angle is how sideways the car is going throughout a corner. However, if you get too much angle, the car will lose speed, so it's a tough balance between speed and angle. The third factor is style. This is that X factor, and it's tough to put your finger on what makes drift stylish, but Formula Drift scores this based on initiation, fluidity, and commitment. I think both cars have style as much as they have function. So obviously if you're competing at the top level of professional drifting, you need to have, the cars have to perform number one. That's their first objective, they have to win. And for some cars, looks is then secondary. The drivers get a final score for qualifying based on those three different criteria, and are ranked in order with the other drivers based on their scores. This score is important because it determines how they'll line up in the top 32 bracket. Some of these cars are making over 1300 horsepower. They burn through rubber very fast. They even do donuts to warm up their tires, but they have to be careful because they need to make at least two runs per set of tires. The second day is game day, the actual head-to-head -head competition. The tournament bracket is done just like March Madness, but unlike yesterday, the drivers are paired up against each other and compete in tandem. This is where it gets very exciting. They make two runs so that both drivers have the opportunity to lead and to chase. The responsibility of the lead driver is just like what they did in qualifying, drift through the course with high speed, a lot of angle, and good style. The responsibility of the chase driver is much harder. They need to follow the lead driver as close as they can, mimicking their every move. That means matching speed, line, angle, and maintaining close proximity with each other. Unlike yesterday, the winner of each round is determined by the judges instead of a scoring system. Each judge will select either driver as the winner, or elect to run one more time if it was too close of a call. The majority vote wins. Attending Formula Drift isn't just about watching the cars drift, either. It's full access, you get up close and personal with these cars. There's a lot of other things going on at the same time as well. There's food, there's things to buy, there's driver's autograph sessions, and there's even a car show. So this was just a glimpse at the first round of Formula Drift. And the next time you think of drifting as just a bunch of people doing donuts with expensive cars, think again. Drifting requires intense engineering and phenomenal driving precision. From Ireland, James Bean! James Bean, Alex Hilbrun, and Ryan Turk! 
your winners in podium here at the O'Reilly Auto Parts Streets of Lobby's Round 1.